Hi Rob, who are your two friends? Um, so we, we must ask, we must act like we haven't noticed when we walk into room. Like, oh mate, how you doing? No, no. It's like the big red button that says don't press. Anyway, so he might be taking his race suit off, but we had a little giggle, me and Lucy say, no, no, you need to keep it on. <laughs> okay, but so I think it's going back to be loosened just slightly, so you've got no idea. Anyway, dinner for that small talk. Uh, good evening, everyone. What time are we on? We're at smack on half five. That's great. Great to see you all. Give yourself a round of applause for making it here today. Yeah? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Um, <clears throat> so great to see all familiar faces, and I think one or two new ones as well, which is fantastic. Um, well done for making the pilgrimage over the winter season and the drought, but I can assure you that the rains are here to come. Well, not literally, obviously. So uh, I think, yes, it's going to be very exciting for the new season. New team, completely new territory, nothing like what we've been used to before. Um, especially after today's performance, I think there's a lot to chat to Rob about, especially I want to know exactly what the hell's going on because I don't think any of us can quite believe that uh, where he's running at the moment and there is still a lot more to come. So. I think that's going to be a very interesting conversation when, uh, when he comes in through the door. There's uh, one, uh, two other fit guests as long as we can drag them in that will be coming as well. So um, we'll probably sort of have for about half an hour, I think, because they're eager to lock the, the garages up. So we'll try and get through as much as we can uh, in that time period. So thank you for bearing with me, which I have to say I'm completely unprepared, which as you may or may not know is usually the way I do things. <laughs> but I don't need at all. I've got absolutely no idea what the hell's going on. But that's good. That makes for quite a random kind of meeting. Right, so, are we still right at the back? You can hear me all right? Phantom you. Yes. Okay. Right, so I think, first off, uh, just while we wait for uh, Rob and get all the guests. It's Hunter. Why am I just Hunter tonight, right? <laughs> oh, a mystery guest. It's Hunter. He's going to be here right now. Okay, so, uh, right, what a bit. Hey, here he come. I remember I was... Shh, shh. Hello, Rob. <laughs> Hello. How is everyone? Good winter? Good. So, how are you doing? <laughs> Am I happy camper? Yes, well, let, let's just go ahead like, into, into that, uh, if, we, if we may. Uh, what a day. Just, just, just quickly, just give us an insight into how the day's gone. Is this what you expected to do on media day? Well, kind of. Kind of did, yeah. Um, oh, forget it. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was a really good base car, the Toyota. That's, that's part of the reason we, we made this change. Um, you know, we, we did a, we felt we did a really good job last year, but as much as I love Sherman, I don't think he's the ideal car for these regulations. Um, so we've taken some of our engineers and stuff, drove across with a handy motor support from Simon. Simon can step in there. Yes, we give Simon a round of applause. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Obviously, when everything goes right, it's nothing to do with it. It's all this bad here, just a little bit. Um, we might be struggling on one or two of the lights. I'm not quite sure if it works. So just test one of those, Simon. Just uh, let me, uh, there go. Try that one. Right, actually. Oh. We might have to no, you can share one. mine. But uh, anyway, the. the um, I knew it was a good base car, pre-season testing, although it hasn't gone ideally, um, we've, we've sort of been to a lot of circuits and hung around an awful lot, but the, the weather's not been great, and uh, we've had a couple of teething problems and stuff. So um, we haven't had done a huge amount of running, but what running we have done, we've, we've really maximised, and uh, the car's felt brilliant. So. Uh, we were in good spirits and we came here today just wondering how it stacked up and um, you know that today was sort of without really trying as such we're not folding on softs and a qualifying aggressive qualifying setup and going for out that lap times so that's just us working through our testing plan and we just happen to be at the front which is really encouraging the uh, the, the small negative, just to, you know, so you don't get your hopes up too much. I mean, front wheel drive. I, I did two races in front wheel drive about uh, 12 years ago. So uh, there's a lot more to for a scoring car championship than just being able to go fast. So uh, I've still got a lot of learning to do at brands, I think. 
tyre wear and so on. We did manage to do a race run today, but uh, tyres really fell off. So uh, there's yeah, still a lot to learn. But um, yeah, this is Simon anyway, my new boss. How does it, it feel having a boss now? Uh, I like it. Apart from Lucy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's good. I, I, um, I was actually at home on Sunday, going through data and looking through uh, last year's results and timesheets and laps and stuff from Donington, and, uh, doing like driver work. And then uh, I've got this Time Hop app, so it reminds me of pictures and posts and stuff from a year ago. And it's like body work at four in the morning because we're doing all nighters and just trying to get everything ready. So yeah, Simon we, was we, in. We were doing twelve hour days while she was sat watching the telly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there were nice, each good he's done is he passed all the rubbish over to me and he's taken all the cream. But yeah. uh, it's, it's I mean, this was all this is something we started looking at last September and uh, you know, I was, some of you probably thought, oh, it's a bit strange, you know, what's going on here? But there's so much going on behind the scenes that um, you know, we're not in a position to be able to share with people, and um, you know, I think we did a pretty good job of keeping it secret to the Auto Sports Show, and it was um, a shock and surprise um, for a lot of people. And I think today, hopefully, we've rewarded all your loyalty to, to continue to back us with what we're doing by showing that this is the right move for Rob. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of passion behind Rob Austin Racing, a lot of passion behind Sherman and, and, and the cars, but hopefully one of your biggest passions behind Rob winning races, and that's that was the big thing for this, the big turnaround, that um, hopefully by merging all the good bits of Rob Austin Racing and all the good bits of what we're doing, that we come up with something that could run with West Surrey Racing, could run with Honda Dynamics, um, and it's, it's no fun when you're running in the second half of the grid. It's no fun for you guys either, because you're cheering them on to try and come 14th or 13th, and that's not what we want to be cheering Rob on, so he's winning races. And uh, um, hopefully today is just a little glimpse of uh, you know why we've done what we've done, Rob's done what he's done, and you know a lot of the people you see around are no different. You know the team and uh, uh, you know we brought along most of Rob Austin race over to what we're doing uh, just to you know, really just try and generate a super team which is what we want for the future. Um, we'll, we'll take a few questions for Simon in just a second so if you have a think about something you might want to ask uh, Simon but uh, can I just ask while I uh, come along to you by it. Um, is, is this what you expected from today? Uh, it's kind of what I hoped for. Um, it, it, it's so difficult, you know, testing is, 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 is up and down and uh, you know, as, as Rob said, we've you know we've had weather issues, we've had engine issues, we've had new parts issues. Um, but that's what testing's for, you know. If if we come to a race meet and you haven't tested and you haven't worked through all these problems, then you know it all happens when you, when when you go to the track. We don't want that at Brown's house. So um, hopefully, the hard work, the effort, the time, the money that we invested in the winter means that you know we are in a good position. I think mileage-wise, um, we may not have done as much as some people, but time-wise we have. Um, we spent quite a big chunk of time sat in the garage dealing with issues, but we dealt with those issues and moved on, um, and, and now we're in a really good position. So this is what I hope for. You know, we spent most of the day P1. Um, I think if you actually look at the, 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 the amount of time um, Rob was P1 today, it's more than anybody else. And yes, we dropped down at the end, but we could have thrown more tyres. I think we had the tyres sat there, you know. But we were more interested in, you know, right, put a set of softs on Bob and go and kill them. And we needed to know what lap they died. Rob, Rob needed to know that information. Because when we get a brand stash in two weeks' time, Rob's got to manage those soft tyres. And we think, ah, oh, Rob's massively experienced, it's not going to be a problem. But he's not massively experienced in a front wheel drive that kills soft tyres. Um, he's used to a car that, that wears its tyres very evenly. So, you know, all that information now allows Rob to go away and not spend the next two weeks building cars, loading trucks, stickering boards for the garage. Um, it allows you to go away and actually think about what we've done today on race runs and actually go, okay, well, how could I have got a bit more tire life out of those? How could I extend those tires? What other improvements can we take to Brands Hatch? Um, you know, the car is is. We've done a lot of work in the wind tunnel, it doesn't have the new aero package on, um, it should, 
and just brass and have it on the brand tap. So this car isn't as quick as it can go, and Rob isn't as quick as it can go. So we, we, we've got more to come. Fantastic. Do you think the new Aero Pack is going to make a, a, a significant difference? I'd forgotten about the new Aero Pack. <laughs> Look at that excited little face, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot about this because I paid for it. <laughs> Who's got a question for Simon? Don't rush at once. Thank you very much. I'm just going to slice my way through this. Just, just one person, that was really good. No, everyone's really deep in thought, and we're just like saving them. So. Um, it's not all for uh, Rob, really. Um, <laughs> look, I tried. I really tried. I'm sorry. Have you, are you going to name this car, Rob? Well, yes, we're going to name it, but. You know, the chairman's name didn't, we didn't sit there thinking, what are we going to call this car? It just happened. Um, named Mario, my number one mechanic now, who uh, actually named it, was pushing it around, and uh, yeah, it's a heavy old, old girl, so he's like, come on, Sherman. And we kind of like start calling it Sherman every so often, and then obviously they jumped at um, Brands Hatch, and that's really when the you guys all started calling Sherman. It's like, oh, okay, it's Sherman then. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I, we're not trying to think of a name. It'll, I'm sure it'll just happen naturally. Probably when I punt it. <laughs> well, let, let's hope it remains nameless on that. So, right, who else has got a question for you? Right, let me, uh, who's that? Excuse me. Try not to kick your cakes over. It's better than the Great British Bake Off thing, I'll show you that thing. Don't go away, right. it's going to go around. Yes, sir. It's for Simon. Hey! I just wondered um, how the merger came about. Did you talk with teams before this season, or is it something that you just come up with in September? When, how did it come about? Um, I th I, Rob made no secret that obviously he was looking at other options. Um, most people thought obviously that related to car directly um, for Rob Austin Racing and, and that was obviously something that Rob did look at but um, obviously we've got we, we've had a tie up with Speedworks and um, it's a family connection between Christian and, and, and Rob so Christian said well you know I know you're thinking of, of bringing somebody in for next year why not talk to Rob and I went oh not Rob <laughs> it, it's kind of weird you, you have this image of, of something, and I, I've always thought he's a bit of a James Hunt. Um, <laughs> that, that's got to be worth a round of applause. I said Hunt, by the way. It's just the West Coast Jackson. Um, no, um, and I said, oh, I don't know, you know. It, could, is Rob really the right person? You know, I really want Jason Plato, but anyway. <laughs> Simon, I don't think you're getting out of here like this. I'm actually looking, we've got four doors here. We've got them all covered. So anyway, so we, we, we had a, a little bit of a talk. It was, it was literally um, 30 seconds and Hunter had already blocked us, hadn't he? that we were talking like the next day like, I had this kind of what are you talking to Simon about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, nothing, 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 nothing. Um, but that led to, to us having a meeting and, and I think and I think Rob said this in some interviews before but probably within 10 minutes of starting the meeting with Rob I think two things that came over is first of all Rob knew where we were going what we wanted to do and he was like right behind that 10 minutes into the conversation <coughs> And vice versa, 10 minutes of that conversation, it's like, hang on a minute, this guy is hungry. He, he really wants to prove that he's better than the results that he's been getting. And although there's been some highs, there's been some wins and everything, I think I mean, that is just a glimpse of what together we're capable of doing. I think you know, we want to be winning lots of races. We want to be winning championships. And I think this, this year, the goal would be to win the Independence Championship, and it's doable. Um, especially if they peg the Ford back, as they should do. Um, and we'll find out how we get the brand's hat. But if, if the Ford's been pegged back, I think we've got to find a chance of the Independence Championship um, in year one. And that's setting our, our sights high. We might not get that, but fair enough. But 
The problem is if you set your goals down here, you're only ever achieve this. So you set them here and, and, and go for it. But um, you know, this is this is hopefully a long-term partnership. This, is, this isn't necessarily just a one-year deal. You know, we're looking at this. Um, we've got big plans for the future of the team. Um, and, and Rob central to this, but I think you know just the fact that we didn't have to sit down for three hours of talking to understand that Rob was right for us and we were right for Rob. We literally nailed it in ten minutes. Um, I, I, I think the biggest thing is, is Rob was worried there he's going to send it to his dad, but um, <laughs> um, you know it's it, it, it came back very quickly that this this was the right thing to do. But um, um, there's obviously then lots of talking about exactly how it's going to work, but as far as as far as the same passion, the same motivation for achieving the end goal, um, we both knew that, that, that this was right. Ten percent of the conversation, so it made it made it quite easy. I think. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just add some some to that. Um, but yeah, the, the the chat with Simon, it, it was just like, what about this? Yes, yes, no, yes, no. Brilliant, done. Okay, this is going to work. Um, but uh, it came about, you know, it wasn't easy um, from our side because obviously, we, you know, I've run my own team for uh, well over 10 years now, I forget exactly how long. And obviously, as you all know, how much passion and effort we put into into those bloody Audis. <laughs> and um, just, we, put, we poured everything in and both myself and, and Dad, it was, uh, it was heartbreaking to make that decision, but uh, really the only option would have been to carry on with, with the Audis, which are too heavy, too long, and uh, not suited to these regulations. On the old kit, um, just the, funds, the funds weren't there to, to do anything but that. And, you know, we're in here, we, we, we're not here to make up the numbers. It's no fun, as Simon says, to, you know, we have to cheer us on the 14th or whatever, you know. Alton Park was really a big moment for me last year when um, absolutely nailed qualifying. Carl was mega, you know, Matt, my engineer, really dialed it in really well. I nailed the lap, it was like really good, we were really chuffed. And we're 14th, and that's just the fact it's as fast as, as it was ever going to go. So, uh, right, we have to make the change. And without the option of being able to do it with ourselves, we would talk to Simon. And Simon's goals, uh, it's, it's everything we've done to that car over the winter, it's everything I've wanted to do. And, um, you know, Simon's given us that uh, option. So, uh, although it's sad to be letting it go, you know, you've got to look forward. And this is a very, very exciting partnership. And I think it's going to be really good. And Simon's been so good with, you know, I think I think Matt, my engineer, has got a few fans here from his, uh, like, fixing the car in a mad panic. He's the guy who just doesn't stop and gets it done. Um, you know, taking him on, various other me mechanics, all my boys that, uh, you know, we're going to need somewhere to go, and Simon's been very welcome, you know, welcoming, uh, as he has been with, with you guys. So uh, I think he deserves a massive round of applause. <laughs> Kind of like to it's the first day of uh, a new era, I guess. Well, obviously, um, thank you, Simon, for giving Rob a chance to win this championship. And um, you know, like Rob said, it is pretty, uh, pretty tough letting go of what we've achieved so far. But um, it's all about the results, and you know, we're out and out racers, and we want to win. And uh, Let's hope we certainly have some lots of good results, some wins, maybe a few. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, today was a fantastic time because I know that there's more in the car, more in the driver, and uh, that new aero kit that's worth two seconds a lap, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a tenth, anyway. Two tenths. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm joking. Um, and it's great that uh, you lot are back behind us and uh, we'll do everything we can and obviously there's uh, 
I kicked the owners club off uh, just before Christmas, what was it, two, two and a half, two and a bit years ago? Or was it three? I can't remember now. Harry, you should know. I think it's three. Uh, yeah, I think it was three. Yeah, yeah well, and uh, yeah, let's keep it going and keep the team spirit and uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Richard. I, I seem to have found a nice place in the, uh, in, the in the crowd over here, which is great. So thanks for doing my job for me, I really appreciate it. Um, right, who else has got, now we've got all three of them here, uh, who else has got a question for Boise? I'll come back to you soon. Right, Yamar. Yeah, yes, what would you like to ask? Right, how did you react to all the negativity on Facebook? Um, I don't think the, the, the negative comments were actually kind of good as well. Because they're all, it was only like, oh, it's a shame to see the team go, but there's a, there's a positive as, as well that this is a good match. So I don't, I don't think there was that much negativity. There was the odd person who clearly didn't understand what was going on with the uh, Toyota and the fact it was being updated and was going to be the same as Tom Ingram's car, who he'd obviously had some really great results at the end of last year and showed the car's competitive. So I, I, I think the um, I think a lot of the negativity was uneducated comments. Yeah, because I read quite a few, and I just thought, do you not realise this is a really good sort of pairing? Yeah, I, I think a lot of it. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm beginning to over I mean, the first few comments negative. I, I think the first batch of the really bad comments I got was. Uh, Bullgate. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll tell you what, some people will be really hurt for on social media, so that kind of toughened me up for it. So, yeah, I'll back now with it. Any, uh, the, the only negatives ones, I think, were uneducated ones. I, th I think, thankfully, with what you've talked about, with Simon, and what you've said, and obviously, Richard, now it's great to hear it now at this point before the season kicks off that, in actual fact, this is the level platform, this is where we're going, and for all of us to be able to share it and understand that makes us, I think, must be for everyone very, very excited for, for the whole of the season, really. So, so that's great. Thank you for your question. Who else has I, should, I should also add that the uh, many, many really positive, good comments from all you guys really did actually balance out those negative, those few negative ones really well. So, overall, I was, I was, I was happy. Thank you for those. Well done, well done. Right, who else has got a question while we, we're still at the boys here? You, you, you sir? Don't worry, I shall. Oh, hang on, I'll come back to you, Mr. Jim. Right to the back, right to the back. Coming right through, thanks very much. I was wondering how you're going to um, find it with that one of the direct teammate this year. <coughs> Sorry, I, I didn't hear that. I how you're going to find it without having a direct teammate this year. Uh, well, we, we actually do. Um, we are technical partners with uh, Speedworks, so we have data and information shared with uh, Tom Ingram. So they're basically pretty identical cars, hence we're so close today, and it's kind of nice to be quicker than <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see you competitive this early on the road. <laughs> Very good. Um, right, who else? Sorry, you had one more question. And you, sir. I will come back to you. How frustrating is that he's not driving this year, Simon? <laughs> it's only going to be frustrating if he doesn't win races. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's a long term plan, we can't share it. Because it's, it's, we don't know what it is yet. No, no. <laughs> there is a long, <laughs> there's a long term plan, and I love this championship, I love this back in the car. Just where we need to be right now is winning races. and. Like Rob said, we're not here to make up the numbers. And could we have fielded two cars this year? The answer is yes. But at the expense of him winning. And that was not something that I was even up for consideration on. So, you know, it, it's, it's very much a case of that this is a stepping stone. I'd like to get back in the car. Future two, three cars is all doable. Um, and if, if I get the opportunity, then I'll be really grateful to be back in this grid. But right now, Team's point of view, we need to be really winning races. So, unfortunately, Bob's better at doing that than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very humble, so I'm sure that's not the case. But, uh, okay, so I think we've got time for one more question. Yeah, well, back on the subject of social media, um, thank you, Simon, for being so active and, and taking on the owners' club in a way. 
Did you know you let yourself in for that? <laughs> I kind of got a little glimpse at the Auto Sports Show. Um, it, yeah, I obviously knew that Rob came with our whole package. <laughs> I, I was just saying, there's a man on the channel who's got about a thousand of them. I was thinking bang, then I thought we haven't got any instruments, so it's more of an army. Um, and, and obviously, we knew, we knew that came with it. Obviously, I wasn't quite. I didn't know that the cakes and all that kind of stuff came and chocolates and fudge and um, which is a really good thing. Um, but you know, right from day one, you know, we didn't want the owners to go, all right, the team has changed a little bit and how we all work. Um, but people are still the same. Still Rob, still Richard, still his engineer, still his mechanics, still the boys from the workshop. Still Ed. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, still, it's still all the same people, but you know, it's it's wrapped in a different banner. The Rob, the Rob Austin owners club, we didn't want that to fall by the wayside at all for one minute. We wanted to embrace that, bring that on board, um, and hopefully give you more to cheer about than you've had in the last 12 months. And um, you know, I, I love interacting on social media um, and just to add on the negative comments thing that we had. Um, there was there was no more than about 20 negative comments, and there was over 2,000 likes on the same thread. So you know, it was massively outweighed, and we knew there was always, always going to be a little bit. And like Rob said, it was possibly because that was the instant we announced it. We didn't have a chance to talk to everybody, but you know, I had a fantastic opportunity at the Auto Sports Show to meet um, a percentage of the owners' club and, and you know understand what it was all about. And, you know, yes, we are making flags and that kind of thing. And, you know, we, we want to embrace it. We want you guys to come along for this journey. You know, this is a five-year plan for us. Um, and we want you all there at the end of the five years. Well, that's even more. Um, this is, this is, we want to grow this. Um, we're still going to do the same things, you know, the audience on the Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. So we're still going to do all that. You know, nothing's really going to change. It's just a little bit of everyone getting their head around of, the restructure, but I think that's all history now. We've not moved on past it. Um, you know, I've tried to give you little updates, I've tried to give you some sneak previews as well. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I've you know, when we've shared stuff, we share it on the owners club maybe a day or so before we share it with whatever we call not owners. Put the unimportant people. <laughs> um, so, you know, we'll, 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 we'll keep doing that and, and trying to keep you guys updated as much as we can. Um, but just if we tell you anything, it's really sensitive. Don't, don't do something, don't that <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much, that's, that's great. Um, right, just a couple of bits and pieces, uh, ladies and gents, before uh, we wrap up. Mum, if you'd like to extend this way. Uh, I might just want to share this with you. This says, Worthing, fragile, and tasty. <laughs> no, it's not about me. It's, um, would you like to talk us through what's inside this box, my lovely? Just a bit of chocolate. A little, a little bit of chocolate. I happen to know you brought something with rather a lot of chocolate on it. Would you like to show the lovely boys and girls exactly what else you brought in that wonderful bag of delights? I'm going to show you, ladies and gentlemen, you've probably seen this already. I'm trying desperately not to, to drop this on the floor because I'm going to like a complete and utter idiot. Right. Well, can you help me with that? Because we'll, we'll have a nice photo call with you in this because I think you might recognise the person. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, it's literally in all its chocolatey wonderfulness, ladies and gentlemen. I think this marvellous lady deserves an enormous round of applause. I mean, to look at the video, yes, brilliant. How sensational is that? I've never seen a better portrait of Steve McQueen in my life. Um, no, to be fair, that's what I mean, I'm an artist by trade, as some of you may know, but I've got no chance of doing that. So, fair play, my darling, that is fantastic. But I think a who is he? <laughs> okay, so are we gonna are we gonna break it now or are we gonna have a little bit in a little while? We'll do it a little while, shall we? You're leaving it. It ain't gonna get to you, mate, I'll tell you that. I'll carry it back to the motorhome. Right, well well done, that is fantastic, so thank you very much for that. What else have we got? No, I won't drop it. Oh look who's just walked in, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that, that's probably the biggest round of applause in the night. So. I, I can deal with this. <laughs> hey, Hunter, how did your car go today? <laughs> we haven't actually 
run, this, today was the first time in car run. So we're running basically a shake down as to today. We're hoping to get testing in towards the end of the day, but we're still having teething issues. So. But we've got a couple of days to sort it out. We're expecting tomorrow, so fingers crossed have a bit smoother. Um, but today it was literally, it was, it was kind of almost like a shake down. So. But it'd be nice to be up there and set on the Hopefully one by all. <laughs> <laughs> But I was actually, I, was, I said Rob earlier, um, it's really, really good to see, see Rob and the guys right after the time sheets. And that's really, really nice. Very happy for you guys. No, obviously, as I'm joking, we've been uh, chatting a lot on the build up to this. And uh, yeah, I hope it uh, picks up. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Well, it's lovely to see you. Look at the raptures. The pools are going. How's the baby? You alright? Has he got that kind? Yeah, baby's really good, actually. So I'm really enjoying being a dad, it's been great. So a lot of things, with the birth being in August, it kind of times the off season quite nicely. So I've spent a lot of time with him. Do you think he's planned this, by the way? Just for a second. We didn't plan it well enough for August, but yeah. <laughs> that's actually really nice, because I, I don't, obviously some of you guys won't have babies, some of you have, but the sort of first couple of months, you don't really get much feedback back from the baby. And they spend a lot of time staying in space. And then after that point, you get lots of feedback. It was a really, really kind of joyful experience. And the great thing was, when the racing season had finished, I was actually back at home. That was when it started getting the feedback back from the sort of six to eight weeks after he was born. And um, it's been great. Really loving it. Actually, really, really loving it. He's great. He's massive. So he started off, yeah, he started off very, very light. He was born at 2.7 kilos, which is like nothing. Um, and uh, he was long, though. And I know what has happened is that he's gone from like the bottom two percentile in terms of the, the, the kind of growth charts. And now he's overtaking everything, now he's in the top two percent. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know how most of every analyzes data, I bet he's got an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, no, come on, let's wait him again, darling. <laughs> well, well done, good luck. Is that what he does? Is that what he does? You see, it's just out of it. I've got a spreadsheet about the growth. <laughs> yeah, okay. well, I don't know if I'm posting it, I think my wife will kill me. But maybe if we get a projector up, I'll do a presentation about it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually would look forward to that. How sad am I? Yeah, right, okay. Darling, Dar Dar can, can we wait just for a second? This lovely lady here, she's got some... Now, I don't know what this is about, because I've missed out about three quarters of, the, of what's been going on already. Egg bags, does that mean something to, <laughs> to you? Easter bags, sorry. Did I just say egg bags? <laughs> That's got some interesting connotations, doesn't it? Right, so, apparently, you've got egg bags for, I'm going to read you out, Jodie Spencer, Steve Whalen, has got two. Nice. Uh, Julie, I've has got one. Uh, Keith Stewart, I thought it was an L. Leith Stewart. I've got my glasses on. You've got two to collect. And Sharon Wellington, that's easy. You've got two to collect. And Dan Beaver and Peter Scullin, you've got two to collect as well. So come see this gorgeous lady and she'll sort you out with your Easter bags. Not your egg bags. Thank you. Give me a round of applause. I still have no idea what that means, but. Don't give it to me. Oh, marvellous. There we go. Thank you very much. That's great. This is, so you've got, you're going to. He's a pilot. Don't worry. Even Portugal. And then finally, uh, can I just, just before we wrap up? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Just before we wrap up, ladies and gentlemen, so can I just double check? Then, then, have you brought Mary Berry with you, or is this of your own creation? You've made all of that. We'll come back at it. Don't, don't go to, into the internet. Into the, into the, Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to crack that open now a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so that's going to be shared around. I'm not sure it'll go all sort of into 135 pieces, but... Yeah, it's on. Have you eaten a lot already? Fantastic. And then we've also got these wonderful... Oh, we should open that up because we want to see the colours. So, sorry, this is in brand new Andy Moses 14 colours. What can you say to that? One more round of applause. <laughs> I think Jasper's got his eye on the entire collection of those, by the look of it. Salivating. Mm, you're right. Okay, so, um, uh, thank you very much, boys, for, uh, for all your input today, and uh, thank you very much, Simon, for, uh, for giving us an insight into what you've done with the team. Rob, thank you very much for giving us a very entertaining day. Uh, Hunter, always good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Glad everything's going all right. Thank you for your input as well, Richard. I think that's about all the thank yous, barring one. Yes, what are you going to say, Rob? Well, I'll make out what you're saying is too bad. <laughs> I was just saying I have to um, go now because the, the, the chap who made my suit was waiting to <laughs> fix it. <laughs> I, actually, That's why we're so quick to... I've got to be honest, mate. None of us have noticed. We're, we're running light because we're missing a lot of fabric. 
Oh, right, okay. okay. Yes, of course. I'm just here for a reason. Yes, talk us through it, my darling. We just wanted to keep supporting you, really. So, there's a couple of us on some t-shirts for you. There we go. Come, come to the front, come to the front, come to the front, look. How is that? So I've seen a picture of Kelvin there, it's top of it, but I've got lots of people this year, but this actually works. <laughs> so if you don't, just don't take anything off during the year, then people might actually believe that's me. <laughs> 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 They're great, uh, the Photoshop is best done very well as well. So, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> seamless. Yeah, seamless. Well, yeah. I have to say... I'm nicely warmed up in that as well. Uh, <laughs> say we are the children, brain. <laughs> I have to say, genuinely, I've never seen anything like that before, but that is absolute genius and what a great thought. Thank you very much, guys. Just one last round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your, for your time this evening and for hanging around. We're, we're all very grateful, but I'm sure I speak for, for the boys behind and just before you go and say, look, in all seriousness, this is going to be a great year. Thank you for your time. Your support is always, always so vital to, to Rob, to Richard and the entire team. And I know I speak on their behalf, we can never thank you enough. This is the fun, this is, this is what we do it for, but it's the support that you are always there, that you are behind everything that we do and stand with us no matter what, can rain or shine. Hopefully this year, there'll be a lot of sunshine to be had. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you a round of applause. Thank you. It's a bit lame because there's only five of us, I'm sorry. That was terrible. Well, that's the day we must wrap up, darling. Just to say, uh, we raised about £240 for the flag and banner fund today. Fantastic. That, that's a great one. What a fantastic thing. Ladies and gentlemen, have a very safe journey home. Shall we have some people who's going to be at Brands Hatch? Yeah. 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 Have a safe journey home, ladies and gentlemen, and we will see you at Brands Hatch. Thank you very much. Thank you.